everybody. Today we are going to, um, well first off, if you would like to subscribe to our channel, uh, we're going to start doing, today we're going to be talking about Chop Chop a little bit, but on Monday, tomorrow, uh, we're going to be going to Carowinds and we'll be talking about um, one of the newest roller coasters that has come out this year. It's been too long to be able to go. And um, so anyway, um, I wanted to give you our daily, my daily um, view of what we do with uh, both our bearded dragons and also our uh, roaches that we're breeding for Chub Chub. So the first thing that we do is I just turned on Chub Chub's lights and he had just woken up and um, he is hungry. I've started cleaning out his cage, so his rocks are all moved around a little bit. I still have a little bit of, um, uh, of leaves that I have to get out from his, his lunch or his breakfast that he had yesterday. So I just scoop it out. I have my handy dandy scooper here. Um, and we have chosen that we to put Chub Chub with sand and it's called, um, it's just the sand for the reptiles, so it's safe for him. Um, he loves to dig in the sand. Uh, so I feel like it keeps him more in his, what his, his, um, what is it called? Where habitat. he would, his habitat that he would normally live in if he was out in the wild. Um, however, our... Chub Chub. <laughs> Don't think he would last out in the wild due to laziness. his laziness. Um, Chub Chub loves to be hand fed, and we'll show you that in just a little bit as I put his. He doesn't want to work for anything. Cage back together. Most bearded dragons love rocks. Actually, all bearded dragons love rocks. They love. To be able to climb under them, we're gonna put this away. Climb and his, and they love to. Well, they love the dark, especially at night. So we give him a little bit of a cage. This is his favorite thing that he likes to sit on. It's a piece of wood, and so I just put it to where he can rest on it. Um, and feel like he's also climbing because they love to climb and that is one thing that um, that he loves to do and we have another um, thing down here that helps him climb and um, We have, we took it down due to Chub Chub trying to escape out of his cage. So I'll show you that real fast. And um, again, he just climbs up here from his hammock and um, absolutely loves it. Chub Chub, are you ready to eat this morning? No. Let's go ahead and get you some lettuce. Give him a couple pieces of lettuce. This is not his preferred eating habits, but right now um, he is on lettuce and also super worms. And so, um, with his age, he is almost two years old, and um, I thought he's almost three. He's turning two in October. Do you want your super worms, Chub Chub? He's like, we've had Chub Chub more than like half a year. We got him when he was a year. Oh, we got him when he was a year now. Okay. So I just take them out of our little bucket that we have. And Chub Chub, you want to wear? 
Uh oh, you missed it. Did you get it, Cha-Cha? Cha-Cha, did you get it? Baby, four. Five. You love this, don't you, Judge Um? Six. Got a good boy. Yes, it is. A special treat. He doesn't get them all the time, but today this is part of his his diet. We also give him roaches um, some weeks, and then he doesn't really like crickets because he does not like to chase animals. He likes to be fed. He's one of the lazy bearded dragons. I think that's lazy dragon. I think one more touch up. You've had some small ones today. I don't know what happened. I'll give you one more. Mama, that's you. Mama, that's your baby boy. Let's go over and show you about our our bearded dragon colony. Um, I mean, not bearded dragon. Our Dubai roaches colony. So, it's their day to eat. Um, Kipling, can you come clean out their water bottle? Their water. We give them some water beads. Um, I don't give them water beads every day. Uh, they get them probably once every couple weeks. Once they start looking a little dungy like this, this is when we start um, changing them. I have a mama roach right here and then here another mama roach and some of the older roaches that are getting ready to to get into their mature stage um, where they could this one just went out of just finished one of his um, stages life-changing stages he just Went from an albino to um, a bigger stage. So how we know that is he's a lighter color. So he changes, they change white whenever they start um, their next process in life. Here's one of our males right here. As you can tell, he has some wings on him. And um, right now he is just chilling. But they're very, very sweet animals. Ours love to be just petted. And um, and we just take care of our little roaches. They're like pets to us. Um, so we'll go ahead. He doesn't want to be put back. But, but again, um, right now... We have lost a lot of roaches because uh, we had a lot of fruit flies and my husband decided that he wanted to spray some pesticides and um, that killed a lot of our big ones. So that is why we have them all together. Here's some more of our little, our younger age ones. Um, we just had babies about two days ago. I put them and I researched some and uh, I researched and there's a little tiny baby right there. If you can see him, he's getting ready to move. 
Um, there's another little baby. They love to bury themselves. So not only do I use egg cartons, I also use potato flakes. Some people use um, oatmeal, but then they say that also causes mites. So I choose not to, to do um, oatmeal. I choose the potato flakes, which helps. I don't get any type of animals that I don't want. Um, and they love oranges. So every other day or every couple days, what I do is I come and I clean out the old oranges and I take them out. And it looks like somebody went playing in water because the water got out somehow and went along the side of the cage. I usually do have them separated in two different ages. Um, but because of the incidents that we just had, I put them all in one colony for right now. Um, they're happier to be together right now. So, um, whatever makes the roaches happier, um, gets me the most babies. And so that is why I chose to put them together. When you're getting out the oranges, you need to watch because the babies, there's no babies in this one, but the babies love to hide in the actual oranges um, that are older. Um, again, we do have, we have had problems with gnats, just like I said. And so I have started just recently, um, Using a thing of deco mesh, Zeta, right here. Thing of deco mesh, and I just put it over the top of the over the top of the bucket, and then I put the lid on top that has the lid. And they absolutely love darkness, so this works for them. And then what I do um, first thing in the morning, which um, I didn't see, I had which you didn't see. I have one of the kids take. Um, I take the kids take the, the kids take the bucket outside and it usually has the um, fruit flies up on top they take the lid off they take off the deco mesh and um, they shake out the fruit flies so that way it has um, set like uh, we have less fruit flies now um, which is what we want so I'm going to go feed them now, and what we do is we take an orange, because they absolutely love oranges, it helps them breed faster from what I've researched. Um, again, today we're going to change the water, but we'll do that afterwards. I just cut the orange in half, with, especially when I have the young babies, I cut them in smaller pieces. So I cut it into fours, and now I'm gonna cut it into six. Um, most of the time with the babies, um, what the babies do, this sounds kind of gross, but most of the time the babies just eat the poop and the potato flakes. So um, since that's basically where they stay. So usually the oranges are eaten by the older, um, roaches, the mamas and the daddies, and then also um, the older roaches that are getting ready to change over to the next stage. So as you know, there's small, medium, and large, and then there's also the little tiny, tiny babies. My favorite part of feeding them is watching the mommies and the daddies come out of wherever they are in the stage and um, they come and eat. That's one of my favorite things. And ours are more active, I think, than most Dubai roaches. We do treat them kind of more like pets. Uh, we do not carry the babies or the younger ones again because they are faster, um, but, the older ones uh, we'll take out and we'll pet 
make sure they're happy because again that's what you want you want happy mamas and daddies so that way um you get more babies and so again if you have any questions if you have any um videos that you would like to see um please please leave it down in the subscription in the um comments below and again please like and subscribe and um you guys have a wonderful day bye